But if you close your eyes Hey friends and welcome to Pass It On, a Nice Nation High School television talk show focusing on relevant student and staff conversations, dealing with everyday issues and attempting to bring them into a positive light through ideas, sports and solutions as it relates to the community that's in and around our school. I'm your host Andre Quattlebaum, better known as Coach Koo. Today we have Mr. Whitley and Ms. Goforth. Um, on the show today, they are two extremely gifted individuals who take pride in offering our students with great experiences to be high school students. They operate a program that definitely meets the model of standing tall. They are well respected by their colleagues in the building for doing such a fantastic job with the student population that they are involved with. Without further ado, I bring to you Mr. Brian Whitley and Ms. Goforth, our ABIT liaisons for North County High School. Welcome to the show, um, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, thank you for having us. Uh, it's no problem. Uh, I understand that time is money, so uh, let's get started. Would uh, you like to tell me what AVID is, Ms. Goforth? Um, so AVID is a college prep program that students elect to take from 6th grade mm -hmm. on to their 12th grade year. And it's a program that teaches kids how to be good students, good citizens, and helps them prepare for uh, life after high school. Okay. And Mr. Whitley, would you be able to explain how does a kid get accepted into AVID? There's an application process. Um, students fill an application, they're interviewed. Um, if they're in middle school, they usually come on to us in high school. Mm -hmm. um, they make that bridge. Um, students uh, ask to be part of it. Teachers recommend them. Counselors recommend them. And parents will uh, ask to be, have the students be part of the process. OK. And for you both, briefly describe uh, your journey and what inspired you to become an educator, mm -hmm. starting with you first, Ms. Goldford. Um, I think that having really good teachers when I was in high school is what inspired me to be an educator. I wanted to teach English and I lucked into the job of teaching AVID and I wouldn't want it any other way. No, that's right. Ms. Willie? Um, I always loved working with children and I want to make a difference in the world and you know, teaching was the way to do that. I like to teach social studies but when AVID came along and it really helped um, so many different parts of, of, of a child's education to help them beyond high school. Um, that's what really got me. Um, and it's been 12 years and I'm still loving it. Okay. And as I said, you guys do a tremendous job. And again, you guys are well respected um, as far as what you do within the school system. Um, if I was a parent, what could you tell me about why Abbott would be a good choice for my student? Um, well, first we basically their senior year hold their hand through the college application process. So anytime your uh, child has a question about applying for college, they can immediately come to either Mr. Whitley or myself and, and we can help them with that. So we're definitely a great resource um, outside of the home in helping them get to, to college. And we also help them with their in-school studies. So when they're ninth through 11th grade, we're tutoring them in their classes and, and teaching them you know, how to work collaboratively. Okay. Um, we have several students of yours on the panel today, and you like young ladies on my left would like to introduce yourself, starting with the fathers to my left. I'm Arna Moevich, I'm a senior. I'm Gabrielle Frampton, I'm also a senior. I'm Akil Baker, and I'm a senior. Okay, so we have three aspiring um, college um, graduates about to head on to college. I'm going to just say out a phrase, and you can just tell me what that, what how avid. Uh, applies to that starting with you keeps you organized um, <clears throat> um, in middle school when you join AVID they usually do binder checks to make sure you're on top of what you need to be and then once you start getting into high school AVID they'll make sure um, like ninth and 10th grade the must go forth will make sure you have all your papers organized you have the five dividers for your binder you have all your papers you don't have any of the flaps so you know where everything is and then once you get into 11th and 12th grade we start making college binders which is the same thing you make um, flaps for each college that you're applying to or plan to apply to and put all your papers in there like such as resumes transcripts that sort of thing okay uh, prepares you for college um, I would definitely prepared me for college if I ever had a question about college I would ask mr. Whitley or Ms. go forth um, help me all the way from sixth grade with good grades and keeping up my good grades becoming organized and figuring out which colleges they're best for me. Okay. Um, catches college attention. 
Well, um, Avid helps, um, well, Avid helps catch college's attention because, well, you're an Avid and that's a worldwide program. And also, you, you're organized, you're well-rounded, you have the grades. Encourages you to go out for clubs that you may not Right, have. and then you're in all these different clubs and you do all this different, all these different community services. Okay. Um, for Mr. Whitley and Ms. Goforth. How do you guys assess the students that maintain themselves in Avid? Is there a certain criteria that they have to maintain and things of that nature? Well, it's, um, it's like any other class. A big part of what we do is watch them in their other classes. So mm -hmm. they've got to maintain at least you know, 2.5 GPA at the minimum, and then we kind of keep, we push them obviously for more. Um, they, we help them write essays. We help them with their reading. Um, we help them with all the skills that they're going to need in college. So part of it is figuring out how to get into college, but the other part is to be successful once they get there. So a lot of things we do are preparing them for beyond high school. Excellent, excellent. Um, I'm going to say this. Looking forward and looking backward. How does that, in the avid sense, make sense? So when you're in night, look, okay, looking backward and looking forward? Yeah. Well, now I that say that, I mean, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I, I see that most kids now in their 12th grade year, I see that you guys are, you guys have an assignment that is required to talk to yourself back when you were a ninth grader. Okay. So when I say looking backward and looking forward, you have that conversation with yourself to see where you were in the ninth grade to where you are now in the 12th grade. So looking forward and looking backward from that standpoint. Um, looking backward now, since I'm a senior, when I look back, like my freshman and sophomore year in AVID, um, there are things I could have improved if I knew back then, like how it would be now. But I'm also, when I look backward, like I'm glad AVID was there for like the process because I know if I was just a senior without AVID, I wouldn't know when FAFSA's due, I wouldn't know college application deadlines or what early action is, early decision, anything like that. And then looking forward, AVID prepares you to look forward. Like as soon as you step into ninth grade, they're like, college this, college that. Mm -hmm. You have to look at <laughs> like what kind of degree you want and like things like that. So Do you have anything to add on to that, what you said? It's more than just looking at colleges and yeah. stuff. It's definitely looking past our college. Like once we get graduating college, what are we going to do after that? And if we're going to be successful and how we're going to get there. Okay. Hello? Um, well, if, if you could have done one thing differently in ninth grade, maybe what would you have done? Um, nothing really because I, I wasn't, <laughs> I, I'm still an avid and I was an avid back then. I started avid in seventh grade. I moved from New Jersey. It was a big transition because I went to private school mm -hmm. to public school. Okay. So then avid helped me through and I knew a lot of kids. That's where I met most of my friends. Okay. What can you all uh, collectively say to the everyday student about why they should try to um, apply the necessary skills uh, that are required to be AVID? Because I, I would assume is AVID for everyone or only for detail-oriented students? That question goes out to it's, anyone. It's definitely not for everyone. If you're, I don't know, if you're a slacker, and if you don't want to do your work, and if you don't want to pay attention, and if you don't want to actually try to succeed in life, Avid's not going to be for you. Okay. If you if you are like that, but you're looking for a change, then Avid would definitely be your go-to, because Ms. Goforth and Mr. Whitley, even if you <coughs> don't meet the requirements at first, like they'll hold your hand through it and get you to where you want to be. You'll definitely get your pep talks <laughs> and uh, lectures, but they they'll get through your head and. Um, like, it just shapes you to be a well-rounded person. And I look at them as my counselors more than I would as a school counselor because anything I need regarding college, school, or even everyday life, I can go to either of them because you get to build, like, a strong relationship with your AVID teachers because they get to see you grow and they know, like, parts of your life that other teachers may not know. Okay. Uh, so with that interaction that you guys have every day with Ms. Goldford and Mr. Whitley, it definitely has prepared you guys. Um, I guess it has given you identity achievement and it also has given you identity development. And I would say that uh, representing North County High School students, you guys are doing a fantastic job. Um, Mr. Whitley and Ms. Gofor, uh, thank you for your time, for coming out and sharing with the, the students and the audience out there on what it is and the requirements that it takes to be an avid student. Uh, you guys are doing a tremendous job. 
uh, you're a friend of the show, you're always more than welcome back to uh, explain anything else that's going on with the AVID program. We're always here to uh, welcome you guys. Um, so that, my friends, you learned today on what the requirements are to be a AVID student, the principles, the dedication, the requirements, and two quality uh, liaisons for our school and our community. So once again, we'd like to thank them for coming on to the show, and we'll be right back momentarily to give you another treat. We have a young lady coming up who's going to do a performance. So once again, thank you for watching Pass It On, and we'll be right back.